In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, how to configure BPDU Guard on a Cisco switch. BPDU Guard is an STP feature that shuts down ports when with or shuts down ports configured with PortFast upon receipt of a BPDU. So in other words, uh, BPDU Guard shuts down a port when uh, a switch is connected to it because uh, switches communicate with each other uh, using BPDU. Um, it is recommended to be configured in conjunction with PortFast. So uh, BPDU Guard is usually configured on the access ports because that's where PortFast uh, is configured uh, as well. Um, there's two ways uh, that you can configure it. You can configure it on a single port, and this is the command. And you can also configure it uh, uh, by default on all the port fast ports. I have this topology, and um, you know it's just a PC connected to switch one and switch two connected to switch one. So I'm going to configure uh, switch one, I mean this port connected to the that is connected to uh, PC one. So I'm just going to just uh, copy copy and paste these commands. Switch one done. And as you can see here, that you know uh, I'm also uh, enabling or, con or configuring port fast as well, and also I'm configuring the apps or the port as a access port. And that's it. That's how you can configure it on a single port. And this is how you can configure it on all the uh, access ports. And let me just. Uh, this PC is actually, I mean, this PC has an IP address. Or, yeah, didn't save it. So let me just uh, <clears throat> configure a IP address because I want to show you that I don't have to, but I uh, just wanted to configure it. 24, it's going to configure the gateway, 254. I'm going to save this. Save. Didn't save it before. And then I'm going to also configure a, an IP address on this switch. Um, IP address 255.255.255.0. .255 no shot. And it's going to. Uh, ping the PC, PC one. Yeah, I'm able to ping it. Let me let me just uh, verify the configuration on that port. So yeah, <clears throat> this port is now a, a an access port, and it's, I mean, the uh, port fast is, is configured on it, and BPDU guard is configured on it as well. Um, yeah. So if we, we're not gonna get any error. I mean, it should work as expected uh, because hold on, it's kinda, no, I did. Yeah, I was like wondering, should be this port. Yeah, <clears throat> so this is the port that is connected to the piece to PC1, as you can see here in the diagram. And, you know, we ping it earlier, so it works as expected. Let me just try again. Yeah. So now I want to show you that uh, uh, the BPDU guard uh, shuts down a port when it sees uh, BPDU messages on it or coming through it. Um, so what I'm going to do is let me just uh, fix this first. 
because this is part of the correct configuration. So I'm going to go into switch one and configure uh, this port. This is the port that is connected to PC2, I mean switch two. Uh, and then I'm just going to copy and paste these commands. Done. And let me see. Yeah, so you can see that um, let's just expand this. Oops. Yeah, kind of hard to read, but we can see that um, the message says that uh, span entry black PPDU guard receive PPDU on port. This port, which is connected to this, is the one connected to P switch to uh, with PPDU guard enabled disabling ports. And now uh, it puts the port into error disabled state. And we can also, I mean, we can verify that by, you know, uh, is issuing this command. And we can add this uh, keyword to uh, see what uh, the reason behind why this port is in the error disabled state. So reason is PPDO guard. And yeah, that was it. We don't have to use this uh, this debug command debug command to be able to see the the error message why. With the message why this port went into a error disabled state. So that's how um, a BPDU guard works and that's how you can configure it. So yeah, I hope you I hope that you learned something today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.